super, absolute superstar, but we got a superstar of our own here on the desk to close things out. We got Oxy. Congratulations, man. Uh -huh. That... That gave me, uh, that aged me as I was watching it. <laughs> me too, trust me. You guys can't see it, but I got white hairs now. You got white <laughs> I love it, brother. Uh, all right, first things first. Uh, talk to me about the team's demeanor as you guys were starting that comeback because it, you could see it happen. We were here chatting and we were like, okay, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, this is a comeback. <laughs> this is real. It like round after round. Was yeah. that the vibe with you guys as well? Okay, well. Or was it round by round? 7-12, I think, and we're just sitting there like, all right, guys, we lost pistol. It's all right. Let's just play it like a scrim. And then we just put round by round. That's all you got to do in these comebacks, round by round by round, just bring it back slowly. And then all of our momentum started building up. The pressure's on them at yeah, that Yeah, the point. pressure's on them now. Yeah. And then, yeah, we just smoked them out. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, you, you have also, I think, as, a, as an individual in the league, have been one of the most... Uh, you know, up front, I'll just tell you, like, refreshing individuals to have in this league because mm -hmm. your passion, your energy, all that stuff. Do you feel like in the last few weeks you you wanted to try and mix things up, change it up, try and, like, not be so front and center? Or do you feel like uh, now you have that opportunity, you're like, screw it, I'm just going to I'm gonna just pop off every time. I'm going to go Super <laughs> Saiyan every time. I'm just going to let my voice be heard. No, 100%. I, I try to tone it down a little bit, but then I realize... That's not my personal life. Brother, don't turn hey, it down. Don't. Hey, if anyone hey. ever tells you, listen, if, if there's one thing I've learned in my career, yep. it's if someone tells you that you got to up your energy, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. If they tell you to bring it down, ah, I'm always fine. Be up here, you mm -hmm. know, and then you bring it down later yep. on. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah, so like, I don't know. We just had some inspired moments, and I just like, fuck it. I'm screaming now. Did Scrim start on Icebox for you? Uh, or <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. Hey. Well, I don't know what happened on set. I, I was uh, dreaming. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 313 is crazy. Yeah. It, it was crazy for us because we were like, okay, C9, uh, you're going to do, do something. <laughs> and, then, and then you did. Yeah. Uh, you did big time. Yeah, uh, was yeah. there uh, a sense of, I guess, like after you guys had that moment when you guys all get up, talk to one another, what did you say to each other there after you made that incredible comeback? <sighs> after the comeback, like, wow. Beautiful. I, 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 the adrenaline hit me. I don't know what was going on. I was just sitting there breathing. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it felt like <laughs> even towards the end of Icebox, but especially on Sunset, like the rounds were just crazy. Yeah. Like there were so many different rounds where you guys were able to like poke up into top mid and like get behind mm -hmm. uh, NRG. Was that something that you like, I don't know, was that something you were looking for like in the game plan initially or just something you stumbled into? Because obviously the first, like the start of that attacking half was really rough for you guys. Yeah, I think it was something we stumbled upon too because it's, it worked. It started working a lot. We walked top mid like, I don't know how many rounds. And then they just never turned around and it kept working and working. It was like, if it keeps working, then might as well do it. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. No, very <laughs> impressive. Uh, now, you guys are in, a, in an incredible position. You've locked yourself in for the playoffs. You also did a solid for the boys over in crew. They're <laughs> locked in as well. Um, given the, you know, how the stage had started and the way it has gone at this point, mm -hmm. um, you know, how has the team been throughout this entire experience? Because it had to have been frustrating. Yeah. Well, we came off, like, on the wrong foot with G2. We, we I mean, honestly... When we started playing against G2, we were like, oh, wow, we're looking good. Eight, we were 8-4 eight, half, 10-2, 8-4. We got came back, I don't, I don't know how it happened, but we came back on yeah. two of the maps, and we were like, oh, okay. Like, and then the week after we went into it, I don't know what happened. We were like down, demotivated, I don't know what happened. We got off on the wrong foot, definitely. Yeah. And we started losing a lot of scrims and stuff like that. But then after, what is it? After we played Sen, we're like, wow. We like smoked out and like, damn, we got a wake up something. call for you. Yeah, we woke up definitely. Yeah. And yeah, I think we just started playing like we did on split one. Did you think that was affecting you like individually as a player too? Cause like you were lights out in stage one, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I and, like, it didn't feel the same yeah. in stage two until literally today. It's yeah, like, yeah. okay, he's back, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, how, how did that affect you? <sighs> I don't know, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I was getting shit on. Fuck it. I don't know. The, uh, G2 game, 10 games, I won't be I want you to get fired. Don't keep sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My fault, guys. My fault. But... <laughs> it's okay, brother. I love the energy. Keep it going. I was getting pooped on. And... <laughs> Saved. Well done. Well done. And I don't know. I guess today I found my confidence back. So, hey, 
Time to win. Yeah, you did. You certainly did. Uh, we do have a question from the Twitch chat there. It says, Oxy, how does it feel to be in the ranks of best duelists in the game? That was from Yuhuana. Yuhuana, excuse me. Uh, thank you for the uh, submission. Uh, how does it, do you feel like you're in the ranks of best duelists of the game? Me? My parents always told me not to be boastful and stuff like that, prideful. Your parents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Keep you humble. Yeah. How, how many video? How much video games do they play, though? Huh? Oh, not at all. <laughs> well, then say whatever you want. <laughs> True. Um, I would like to say, I'm, like, there a little bit. I want to say yeah. I'm definitely up there. I'm definitely not. Not yet. But you think I there's more for working. you to do? Yeah. There's. I have so much to learn still. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, you know, let's not forget this is still, you know, your first season yeah. playing in this league. How have you feel like? Because we haven't had many opportunities to chat here. Mm -hmm. um, how have you grown as an individual? Like as, as a person, teammate, being in this squad, being present in this environment all the time. How have you grown? Um. Well, I definitely because I moved out from home. Yeah. It's my first time coming out here, not living by myself. I live with the team, but like they take care of me and all of that. But. I think I became more mature. Yeah. A little bit. I no. wouldn't say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what do your teammates back there be like, Bert? <laughs> he said that? Um, and I think, honestly, I think I became more confident. Have you learned how to cook? Come on, man, brother. Uh, <laughs> no, you're all good. You're all yeah, good. You're all okay, to be fair. Same, same. Keep, keep clicking heads. <laughs> You'll learn how to make eggs later. You know what I'm saying? I do remember the first time we talked, though, and, and here you said, like, I don't know, correct me if I get the quote wrong, but you said you, you were told not to think. Yeah. That was like your job was not to think. 100%. Do you think now? Oh, 100% not. <laughs> <laughs> If you hear the comms in our videos, it's like 10 seconds in the round, like, wait, what are we doing, guys? Yeah. I do it every round, oh, uh, so many times. But, oh yeah. my gosh, dude, you are, uh, you're something else. Uh, <laughs> but I respect it so much. And I think that's part of the reason why people have come to really enjoy watching C9, why they enjoy cheering you guys on, seriously. Mm -hmm. And you guys, the, the passion, never lose that. Seriously, never lose that. Yes, um, all right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the standings of where we are right now in this competition. Because thanks to Cloud9, Crew Visa have also qualified. So there you can see five teams locked in for playoffs. We have one spot left for grabs. It's crazy how if you <laughs> this lost this insane, game, bro. there would be six teams still fighting for three different spots. And now it's literally up to 100 Thieves versus Evil Geniuses. Yeah. And they play tomorrow. The winner <laughs> of that game is yeah. in and we've set our playoffs. Yep. Yeah, thanks Cloud9. Yep. You know, made <laughs> next week's games a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, any thoughts uh, on that on that potential, on that matchup with uh, 100 Thieves and uh, EG? <sighs> I think 100 Thieves are kind of like us and they got off on the wrong foot mm -hmm. and they haven't been playing like up to their standard. And EG, I don't, I don't even know what happened to EG. Is EG still, like, I don't remember the last games they played. I'm they they played against Lev and they played like uh, like John the Sage on Icebox because oh. they started po moving away from the ISO comps. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And they got kind of smoked by Lev, not going to lie. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think I think it will be an exciting match to watch, though, because definitely any team can win. But yeah, no, hey, yo, this guy could cast. This guy, up there. get him in Anyone the booth. Can win. Get <laughs> him in the game. booth. <laughs> All right. Well, as you guys know, we only have one match tomorrow, and you heard from expert analyst Oxy himself. It's going to be EG versus Hundred Thieves, and this is going to be a pivotal matchup that you do not want to miss because the last spot for playoffs is up to grabs and one of the one of these two teams are going to claim that spot and it's not just that either you have the defending world champions in eg not making it or our stage one champions yeah. other thieves not being able to go back to a back-to-back -back international like that's ridiculous yeah bro those joints messed up yeah <laughs> it's crazy bro it's crazy <laughs> well in any case though i mean that's gonna do it for us today oxy my brother thank you so much for joining us man uh absolutely amazing stuff can't believe cloud nine manages to make the comeback happen they lock in playoffs but that's gonna do it for us here today it's it for the entire crew and myself we thank you so much for tuning in we'll see you tomorrow 2 p.m pacific time don't miss it it's a massive matchup 100 thieves versus eg We'll see you then. MIBR Furia take the stage as we see who's going to manage to come out on top in this clash with the Brazilian teams here. MIBR looking to pick up their first win. They will potentially have a crossfire here at top mid. Shanti almost caught out there. Liasi, the oh, golden no. opportunity goes. Khalil comes in for the other side. Rich here knows he's going to be under pressure, but Arsene on the flank. He's found wow. two. That's it. 
climbing up with the smoke. Oh, oh my team, you're not going anywhere. Shanti's heard this and has gone off the angle. Those were couldn't get away, and it's Arnazine again. This guy is relentless. Mazin now being pushed here inside Boba. After shot and force NW0 off the Tavik already found three in this round. The Furia get the job done. An awkward first half, so weird landings, but Havoc comes alive. And NW0 holds the line for contact or trying to be through there any other day of the week, I'm sure of it. The root over the top of 410 into Crows and then Gerastus. NW0 starting to feel that confidence. Not too many things to shoot at, perhaps as Parla forces his way in. Khalil goes for it anyway. We meant defuse tonight. Khalil holds his ground and he'll find three for the round. Oh, he's, oh, that's awkward. Okay, Pala. Springs to life there coming down on Jen. And that is that. MIBR are all over and expose her underbelly. His Furia once again assert dominance. A massive matchup is about to take underway here as we got NRG versus Cloud9. Set the stakes yet again. NRG need to win this to stay alive in VCT Americas. Paranoid now comes out. There's the first contact by Finesse. Clean on that shot with the Stinger. The fragment left here by the KO. Long range with the Sheriff. Ooh. That's Oxy for them to close in on the Zephyr. Until Oxy lands that I shot with the operators. Ethan goes for the hero play on top of the staircase. Jiggle peeks to see the last one, and not a chance for Vanity to come through. Cloud9 crumbles to energy on ascent. What a first map. They're one minute now. And everybody's looking down towards under the pipes, and there's Oxy scoring through with that oh, radar. Oh. Victor, too. There's so many first bloods in the series already to start, and he'll get a second one. Everybody's Wait, like, he's out of it. Back through! Gets a hit on the snow! Oh my god! It's a full three! How did you do that, Stop! Four versus four. Oxy trying to close that gap. Back in with a shorty. Close range headshot up to Ethan. Locks Oxy. up for the headshot up the Stomp. The clutch now for Cloud9 as he bounced back on their map pick of Icebox. There is that spike. There is that first kill. There's that second swing. He has two flashes to work with. Runs across. Ethan with the Red Bull clutch. Oh, Pincer dear. maneuver on both sides, and that's Oxy opening it up with four oh. in a row. The discipline coming through. Not enough time. Moose comes out for the kill. Cloud Nine, welcome to the playoffs. Cloud Nine, stun energy.